What's up guys? Welcome to another Crypt Lord development video. Today I want to talk about the newest big feature, cooking. Crypt Lord isn't like most RPGs where you have a town to stock up on potions and supplies. The benefit of an in-game economy is it's kind of like a difficulty modifier by the player. By like buying more potions or better equipment, you can make a difficult task easier without having to adjust a slider or something. A core theme of the feeling I'm going for of Crypt Lord is that you're alone in this world, which is why there aren't any towns with NPCs. A solution I came up with to have a similar effect to an in-game economy was cooking, inspired by games like Valheim and Arx Fatalis. The cooking system is simple. Items are divided into three categories, raw, intermediate, and cooked. When a raw food item goes into a cooking volume, it will turn into an intermediate item. After some time, the intermediate item turns into the final cooked object. This intermediate item separates the cooking process of effects like scaling, blending textures, and adding particles. After the intermediate item has played all of its effects, it turns into the cooked item, which can then be eaten to restore stats and provide other effects. Inside the inventory, you can also combine ingredients to create new ones. In addition, enemies now drop item ingredients. The rock spider will drop spider legs, and the armored worm drops worm meat. I'll eventually add drops to all the enemies in the game. By having enemies drop items when they die, it adds an incentive to fight them. Currently, there really isn't a penalty for just sneaking past them or running past them. Because progression in Crypt Lord is tied to the items, this adds an incentive to fight them. In addition, I'll further incentivize this by making the items that enemies drop and you cook decently valuable when sacrificed for reverence. All in all, this feature is actually pretty easy to implement. It took about an hour and a half to have it all coded up, and then creating the assets is really the bulk of the work, but that's pretty simple though in itself. All I need is a raw version of the cooked item, and then the final cooked product. Then I just use programming to convert it from the raw to the cooked item. Anyway, that's all for this video. I'll upload a build of the new cooking system and a bunch of new features soon. If you want to get access to these builds, just join the Discord. The link is in the description of this video. Also, shout out to my man Levi for getting me this new microphone. The auto quality is so much better. Anyway, see you in the next one.